Oh, this is our room, guys. My oh, boy squad, this is amazing. They've booked us for the largest room here. <gasps> oh, we gotta remove our shoes. Wow, look at this place. Look at this water feature. Everything is so peaceful and zen. Oh, <gasps> let's see. Wow. OMG. <gasps> My boy squad. Look. Damn these girls, I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow. I love it. Look at this. It's like a beautiful Malaysian cabin in the middle of the jungle. <gasps> this is crazy. Wow. I love the beds. Unreal. Those are our sarongs. We have to wear them later. Cool. Let's see the bathroom. Whoa. This is gorgeous. This is amazing. What's this ladder for? Oh, wow. Look at the sink. It's like a rock. A carved out rock. And the mirror with like wood all around. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Check out the shower. <gasps> Unbelievable. This is crazy. Like, you wouldn't think a place as decked out like this is in the middle of this Borneo jungle. Wow, no wonder this place won an award. Look at this. We could totally eat out here, have wine and beer. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do later. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. I find it totally amazing. See if we could just chill here, hang out, have some snacks, listen to the jungle. <gasps> wow, my boy squad, wow. That's all I have to say, wow. <sighs> okay, so apparently now we just gotta relax for a bit and then we're gonna head out to do some river boating type cruise. And I can't wait. I, I just, I can't imagine what kind of wildlife we'll be seeing. <sighs> this is great. If you guys tuned in to yesterday's vlog, Mind-blowing the animals just Unbelievable, so guys if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog. I'll place it in the i-cards here watch it after you've seen this vlog Oh my god my boy squad a ray of hope and some good news Okay, so originally I wasn't able to upload an Ants Canada video which is due in three hours and Initially, I thought I couldn't live stream because they had told me that internet is spotty here but I just checked my phone and apparently I'm getting data and the signal is pretty good So I'm hoping that at 8 p.m. I can live stream and do a kind of like a jungle ant exploration video <gasps> That would be amazing. This is great news because I was worried all day that I would be missing for the very first time an Ants Canada video upload and I hate doing that to the AC family to my subscribers, you know so yeah, that's the good news. Thank goodness. Gotta freshen up. We're gonna go on this excursion on a boat again. <laughs> My boy squad. This is so amazing, right? Unbelievable. We're totally in the Borneo jungle right now. Like that just trips me out. <laughs> and this place, it's just amazing. I totally hear monkeys like around. They're, they're around. And we saw some just walking around the property. Long-tailed macaques. I just love being out here in nature, you know? There are certain times when I feel the power of the divine. Like, call it God, if you will. There are times when I feel God, or when I feel the universe, when I feel the power and immensity of life. Those times are when I'm on stage performing, or when I'm listening to great, great music, or when I'm in touch with nature like this. Don't you guys think so too? Like, when you admire the beauty of nature, I feel like there's this immense, big, big energy. It would be impossible that there isn't something, you know, who designed it all. Let's hope we find a lot of cool stuff together, my boy squad. Thanks for joining us for another day. Eee! In Borneo, eee! All right, here now. There's Dan. LC, our tour guide, Ariando. Yes, the amazing Ariando. He's so knowledgeable. He knows like taxonomy of animals. I love that. Okay, so we're now putting on mosquito repellent. So 
What's this boat excursion for now, Dan? This will be looking for pygmy elephant, the smallest elephant in the world. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps! <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't scream as loud if we want to see pygmy elephants. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful, my boy squad? Wow! This is amazing! Malaysia is such a beautiful, beautiful country. Wow, see guys, my boy squad. So now we're turning in to a smaller channel here off the main river so we can spot different kinds of wildlife. <gasps> my boy squad, I can't wait. I hope we spot stuff. Apparently, this is also a good time in the day to look for large animals. Right now it's 5 p.m. and the sun is about to go down and a lot of animals are coming out and are quite active. It's cooling off. Ariando, yeah. are there crocodiles in this river? You have to have a big one. Yeah. Three meters, four meters long. They have to. Guys, there are crocodiles in this river. Up to four meters long. <gasps> I hope we see some. Look at how thick this jungle is. Wow. It's beautiful. And I'm hearing different animals and birds in there. Guys, I feel like we're in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Honestly. I love how the motor is running on really slow mode right now. We're just completely quiet and just floating down this river. It's amazing. Hoping to spot some animals. My boy squad, I don't think I've ever seen a crocodile in the wild, like in real life like this. In a zoo, yes, but not in their natural habitat. It's a whole different ball game in their natural habitat. It's like you're going into their living room. Wow, I'm amazed by this, my boy squad. The jungle is so quiet with like random animal noises. We hear monkeys. Wow, there are monkeys up there, guys. Long-tailed macaques. Hear them? There! Oh, they're all over here. They're fighting. They're in those leaves. Wow, they're aggressive. There! Wow! So athletic. See them? See them, my boy squad? They're there. Wow. Oh my god, there's, they're fighting. Wow. He ain't happy. Right there, they're there. We're fully like ramming into this foliage here. We're parking right here. There, yes. Oh, amazing. It's really a different thing to see them in the wild. They're just so completely at ease and in their natural state. Wow. Oh, there are two there. It's eating lice. Three, yeah, or four in that area. Look at that one there. It's got a cute little face monkey. Long-tailed macaques. Wow. My boy squad, let's keep our eyes open for one, crocodiles, and two, pygmy elephants. That's what I'm looking for right now. Up there are baby proboscis monkeys. Hard to see them right now. There we go. Look at those proboscis monkeys. Wow. They're fantastic. They have these huge noses. That's why they're called proboscis monkeys. Proboscis is like the nose. Whoa! See that? Okay, so these monkeys do the same routine every day, day in and day out. They wake up, they do their thing, and then when the sun's out and it's super hot, they go into the forest and kind of rest. And then they come back to this spot and hang out during sunset. So it's really cool. Oh my god, my boy squad! Ariando just told me that they have leopards here. There are leopards here? Leopards? I thought leopards are native to Africa. Wow, my boy squad, check out that blue bird. It's cute. Wow, what a beautiful bird. It's gorgeous. It doesn't look real. It looks like it's got this little mohawk. Oh. 
It didn't like my laugh. That was called a black dap monarch. Oh my god, you have that book. Okay, can we go back to the fact that there are leopards in this jungle? <laughs> I thought leopards are native to Africa. Also here as well. I did not here, know they that. As well, but the sites are much more smaller. Wow. They have many spots. Wow. Mabuhay squad, did you know that? Malaysia has a leopard? And they prey on monkeys. Wow. Look at this river. Look at the sun on the river. <gasps> Wait, I need to take an Instagram photo. It looks like caramel or butterscotch. Milo, RJ says. <laughs> RJ says Milo. <laughs> You're so hey, Oh, it was Milo. you. Dan says Milo. <laughs> I'm Asian. Wow. That's gorgeous. It's like a movie. It's so well lit. Mabuhay squad, check out those two monkeys sleeping while embracing each other. That's the cutest thing ever. And then that one who's alone. Kawawa. So sad. Wow, Mabuhay squad, do you guys hear those insects? Listen, they're so loud. And they make that noise through a process called stridulation. They rub body parts together and it makes a noise. These insects play violin on their bodies. Okay, my boy squad, apparently there's an owl here. Can you guys spot it? Where? Where is this owl? Is it a large owl? A small owl? Found it. It's right there. It's got these long ears. There, see it? Interesting. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to appreciate this if I didn't have LASIK earlier this year. Man, what's his arm? Oh, what? Huh? Oh my gosh, my boy squad. Two months ago, a guy lost his arms because of a crocodile. Here? He just finished telling us that these rivers, these waters, are overpopulated with crocodiles. And so they're encouraged to hunt them. But they come out at night, apparently. They're nocturnal. I want to see one! Wow, this is just unbelievable, my boy squad. It's gorgeous. Elsie's brave. Look at her. She will Elsie. be dinner. Oh, appetizer. Crocodile appetizer. <laughs> yeah. They're taking an Instagram photo now. That's an awesome Instagram photo, actually. Okay, let's see. I took a lot. So, my boy squad, this time around, the pygmy elephants aren't coming out. Uh, we're gonna try tomorrow to look for them. The unicorn of Borneo. So guys, now we're getting into their traditional sarong. We have to wear it for dinner. Yes. Good job. That looks nice. <laughs> that does not look nice. <laughs> Let's try this, my boy squad. Okay, so I think it goes like this, or like this, then we okay. fold it yeah. up. Cool. Try it again. Perfect. Done, my boy squad. Yes, ready for dinner. All right, my boy squad, we are now walking to dinner. Mmm, I'm interested to see what they serve at this place. And you know what? The jungle is. It's kind of scary at night. All these sounds. All right. Ooh, fruits, yum. Papaya, I'm gonna come back for that later. We have potatoes, veggies, yes. I'll have some veggies, mm-hmm. Steamed broccoli, cauliflower. <gasps> All that goodness, mm. I got some bok choy. Mm, roasted chicken, yes please. Mm, yum. Fried prawns, mm. Yes. Yes to seafood. Mmm, my boy squad. Beef rendang. <gasps> Love. Love this so much. Okay, my boy squad. Let's try this. RJ says the beef rendang is good. So let's start with it. Mmm. 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 Love the sauce. Mmm. Mm hmm. So flavorful. Let's try the prawns. Mmm! Mmm, it's sweet. Mmm, succulent. Mmm, oh, so shrimpy. Okay, let's try the roast chicken. Mmm, mmm, that sauce. Mmm, mmm, the bok choy. 
Mmm. 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 sort of tunnel way out of mud I guess. I have no idea what species they are. Species of forest cockroach. It's beautiful. It's smooth. So for those of you who are kind of um, antsy with cockroaches, no pun intended. Guys look at the size of these ants. Some of them are massive. Look at that. That's These ants are huge. It's a Campanata species. <gasps> All right, my boy squad, good morning. It's 6 a.m. Oh, and my screen is fogging again. Wow, look guys, the jungle is beautiful in the morning. Animals are waking up. So now we're off to a boat. We're gonna do a morning river cruise. And because a lot of animals come out, um, there's a lot of opportunity to spot animals, including our unicorn of Borneo. The pygmy elephant. Oh, let's cross our fingers and hope we see them. Let's hope my screen stops fogging. Full out monkey hanging on the roof there. Long tailed macaques. I love how they're just chilling out next to everybody here. Morning, Elsie. Good morning. Yes. Wow. Boy squad, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it's foggy. It's like a Mark Twain tail. Morning, Dan. Morning. I yes. hate morning. <laughs> okay, guys, so the mist has thickened to like impenetration. Like you can't see anything. I'm excited to go boating through this mist. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Boy squad, we spotted our first animal, storkbill kingfisher, right there. That bird right there at the top. We got monkeys, long-tailed macaques up there. By the way guys, we're on Kinabatangan River. It's quite a large river. Guys, we got a serpent eagle up there. Sweet. Awesome. We got proboscis monkeys up in these trees. See them? This one here is looking at us. I bet he's waiting till we're directly under him so he can poo. <laughs> <laughs> All of these trees have proboscis monkeys in them. Wow, guys, check out another kingfisher. This one's orange. All right, my boy squad, here we go. Into the more calmer tributary here. Ooh, it's a lot more different in the morning. <gasps> it's spookier a little bit, yeah. It oddly reminds me of the movie King Kong. Wow. Incredible. Okay, we got monkeys up there. They don't sound too happy. There they are. Mabuhay squad. There's another serpent eagle. See it? Awesome. Wow, Mabuhay squad. This is just so peaceful and amazing. Here, pygmy, 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 pygmy. Where are you, little elephants? We got proboscis monkeys all the way up there. Where'd they go? There they are, somewhere in there. Ooh, we're navigating through like all of these logs and stuff. And it looks like up ahead, you got some debris, you got congestion. I wonder if there's a crocodile in here. If I was a crocodile, I'd definitely hide in here. Look at that, my boy squad. I can't believe we're actually going into this. <laughs> this is crocodile country if I saw it. Wow, Arianto's going for it. Whoa, look at all of these plants. See that, my boy squad? I'm bracing myself just in case some kind of crocodile just leaps out of this water. Arianto's very experienced with driving through this kind of congestion. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. All right, we got through. Awesome. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, if I were to guess, this habitat here would be like the Mega Mall for Pygmy. 
it looks like they would be hanging out here. Wow, it is so quiet. Wow, it is so peaceful out here. He just turned off the motor and it's so quiet. What do you think of all this, RJ? Dan? Yes. Elsie? Yeah. It's really peaceful. It's a bit eerie to me. <laughs> it's eerie, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so quiet. Uh, you just hear birds. I'm waiting for Aquila to come out. What is that? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, Aquila, yeah. All you hear are like birds in the distance. I can't get over how placid and quiet it is here on this part of the river. Mumbai squad, the silence is deafening. <laughs> it's just so quiet. I'm just waiting for something to come out. I know, right? It's like Mother Nature's awkwardness. <laughs> She's shy. Guys, this scenery is beautiful. Just push it. Okay, hang on. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> scenery. Oh my god, my boy squad, you know what this reminds me of? There you see her sitting there across the lake. Wah, 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 wah. Do you guys know that? Yes, it's one of the cartoon movies. Huh? Okay. Little Mermaid. Eh. You gotta kiss the girl. Whoa, whoa, sha la 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 la, don't be scared. All right, Elsie is going to take a photo. Wow, that's a nice photo. We have Dan, the cameraman. Look it, look it. <laughs> fierce, Elsie, fierce. I want to see it on your face. Yes, work that jungle. I want too many models. Wow, I love that we're just oh, fully oh my God. driving Lippen into Lippen. these plants. <gasps> wow, look at it. Can you guys spot the green pedophile frog? It's right there. So cute. Okay guys, so see this beautiful grouping of vegetation? Now, although beautiful, this here is called water hyacinth, and this there is called these small little plants there those are called water fern now both of these are invasive they were introduced here and they've completely taken over all of southeast asia these invasive plants originated in south america we actually have these in the pasig river so they're actually not good because they log up the water and then this whole area turns into a swamp like down there um, and it can completely change the habitat so this river can get completely waterlogged and it affects a lot of life in the river Ooh, look at the roots oh wow okay it's also bad because it blocks the sunlight from reaching the bottom and also takes up a lot of the oxygen that you know the aquatic animals need interesting i've always found them beautiful but i didn't know they were harmful for the uh for the ecosystem my boy squad so we're talking about crocodiles because we're crocodile obsessed <laughs> um and apparently like all, a lot of attacks happen here for uh people who come here and they work and they get attacked but uh, you know sometimes they're washing their hands or they're fishing near the banks and the crocodiles they attack the humans because apparently there are so many crocodiles here and they have no choice but to like you know eat people so Arianto said the good thing is to not be in routine because the crocodiles will study you they will remember where you go and what you do at what time of the day they'll stalk you that's crazy crocodiles man all right guys looks like we're gonna head back to the resort the pygmy elephants were shy we didn't see the unicorn of Borneo this time around but uh, hopefully if you guys come here you might spot the pygmy elephants. Oh my god, guys, there's a crocodile. Where? Do you see like something? Did that pollen tree? Yeah. Oh, it's too far. I don't see no crocodile. Where's this crocodile? We missed it. Oh, I totally didn't see it. Where? Oh boy, squad, do you see a crocodile? I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, so there's a crocodile in here. Did you like this? I feel like I'm in the movie. I know. Like every moment, there's just like, like the beauty of course is just spectacular, but there's also this kind of like unpredictability. Yeah, I really love the unpredictability of every moment. Like you can see an animal just all of a sudden. Oh, I 
Mm, guys, papaya with coconut jam and the most delicious little snacks. Oh, look at that ant. Ant, wait, I'm vlogging. Okay, the most delicious little biscuits. It's called Batangbo. You guys gotta try this if you come here. Mm. Oh, it's so nice. Well, well coffee. Okay, so now we're heading to Ariento's friend's place to check out Hari Raya. For Hari Raya, people open their homes for, you know, guests to come in and eat. It's a Muslim holiday. It marks the end of Ramadan and it takes place over three days. Here we are, wow! Ooh, it says Salamat Hari Raya. Uh, this is very typical. It looks like you are in a restaurant, but actually this is someone's house. We just say hi and they have to like shake their hands, say Salamat Hari Raya. Uh, but this is very typical because you are preparing for people to come to your house. So you're gonna serve food and for free, if you know that. <laughs> Ooh, free food, that's always good. Look at what they have here. Ooh, different like little cookies and yummy stuff. Hello. <gasps> so is, this is oh. the house on that. Hello, hi there sir. Hello. Thank you for having us. Oh, <gasps> look at this food. Mmm, <laughs> wow. It's a feast. <gasps> oh my goodness, this looks like something in Cebu we had. Wow, the boys got this food though. Erianto, you have great friends. <laughs> Yummy, guys. <gasps> Different. Okay, so this is beef rendang, chicken with chili and a bit of tomato. Yeah. Let's try the beef rendang. Mmm. Ooh. Such a good flavor. Mmm. Mm. 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 The chicken rendang is good too. While we're here celebrating Hari Raya with food, looks like the mosquitoes are also celebrating on my forehead. It's a feast. It's a feast on my forehead. Mm. Check out all of these snacks that they typically serve during Hari Raya. It's amazing. Okay guys, let's try some of these snacks. So we tried this at breakfast, right? So yummy. Mm, like that. Let's try this rainbow sugary looking one. Mmm! Oh wow! It crumbles and falls apart. Mm. Can I try it again? Oh! <laughs> it has the consistency of like polvoron. Let's try this thing. It looks interesting. Mm. It's a biscuit. Mm. Okay. Let's try this. This little white ball here. Oh! Yeah, so. This also has consistency of. So this mm. is where if your family goes, mm. just put it's yummy, it's sweet. It's super big still. Mm. Alright guys, we're checking out of here now at Sukal Rainforest Lodge. It's been an amazing time here. Wow, this place just blows my mind. I wish I could stay longer. But of course, we can't leave without taking pictures! Yes! <laughs> they want to take pictures. So let's go, let's let's take photos. Look at all of our friends here. Yay, thank you so much for all of the great service. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take solos. Wow, yes. Malaysian people are like Filipinos. No, <laughs> funny, my goodness. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Thanks. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is my favorite so far. Yeah. Thank you so much, Suko. We're gonna miss you, my boy squad. Let's come back again. All right, my boy squad. Now we're here to check out the Gomantong Cave. So they gave us these cool helmets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we also have these face masks. I wonder what for? Smell the cave maybe. Hmm. That's why I brought two. <laughs> so guys, here's the map of the entire cave. It's actually a lot of caves, but we are going to this cave, Simud Hitam. Mm -hmm. Wow, check out this pathway. There's moss growing on it. Wow, this is thick jungle again, guys. Look at that. Look at this tree. Look at the base of this tree. <gasps> wow. RJ, do you smell that? Yeah. Whatever, it's not me. <laughs> My boy Squad, he's just kidding. <laughs> guys, there's a smell of... It smells like urine. 
it, it smells like some kind of urine mixed with weird feces and it happens to be bat guano yes in whoa oh 